Yeah, I mean, this is our first loss in this building. Um, it hurts. It's a tough one. Um, all credit to, to Washington. Um, they're, they're a really good team who's very specifically good at what they do. And if you're not ready for that, you're going to get got. And, and we were not ready. Um, the first half was we were exposed in so many ways of not being ready, and um, that's on me. I thought we had a good day of prep yesterday, uh, but it didn't carry over to the first half. I thought we you know, made a valiant effort in the second half, for that third quarter, to try and get it back, but it was too late. Um, and you know, it's up to us uh, to try and figure out how to deal with this. Probably our first, you know, bit of adversity in terms of, um, you know, losing a tough one like this. But uh, I look forward to how we can ultimately bounce back from it. Yeah. Um, can you just take me through those last few seconds and kind of describe your emotion in those last thirty seconds of the game, where you had three to back to three, back to three, back to three. And then you had that missed call that seemed to yeah. happen. Just talk me through those final seconds. Yeah, I mean, you know, I'd used our timeouts. I, 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 I used a couple early to try and get us, get our heads out of our asses. Sorry for the language, but you have to use it sometimes to get yourself going. Um, and then I sort of strategically used the last two when I could advance it and set something up because I felt like we were getting pretty good looks um, out of our sets. And then once we're out of timeouts, you know, you got to, you got to be able to score, you know, in flow, and we we, we hit a couple um, big ones there. We used the review, um, uh, or we used the, sorry, their last their last timeout to try and set up something when there was such a little time left. And when there was 1.3 left, I and mean, obviously I was hoping for a five second call, um, uh, and uh, or something, you know, crazy happening. I didn't have a great look at it. But it seemed like Kenzie poked the ball from behind. Um, and sometimes officials are very ready for people to foul and blow a whistle. So I can't tell you whether that was a little bit early and anticipatory or whether she got her. I haven't seen it. Um, but clearly, I think, you know, the people in our, our building thought, um, you know, maybe it was an opportunity there. But at that point, you know, it's 1.3 seconds left and you're trying to make a hero play and we almost did it. Come on. Uh, so uh, y'all went down. Uh, you guys were down uh, by 13, and then uh, Juju hit a layup or a jumper uh, right before halftime. It seemed like it was, you know, the the first half. You know, you guys kind of struggled, and you guys went into halftime. What was that message at halftime? You know, for the team to kind of come out swinging and have a good third quarter. I mean, I didn't. I had to do the media, the, the halftime thing. And my coaches are really good, my, my staff making adjustments and things like that, but I blew right by them and I said, there's no adjustments. I'm gonna walk in there and tell them how I feel, which is, I thought there was no adjustment I could make in the game plan. Like, there were curse words, there was emotion. We just had to, we had to have a different level um, of want, intensity. I thought we were getting cooked individually. I thought we were, settling on offense. I mean, there's the number of things like we weren't good at anything. So it was just a matter of trying to change that, that energy. I thought, you know, it's, and again, I'm not taking any credit away from Washington. They're a really good team who does what they do very well. But it's the first time I thought that we came out here and said, oh, we're wearing USC on our jerseys and therefore we're going to win. And you can't win like that. You can't win like that. And so we got on them. And like I said, we made a valiant effort. But when you spot someone in this league, an 11 point lead, it makes it really hard. Did you feel like there was a lack of energy throughout that first half? And is that what you were kind of trying to point out and, and get the, the woman fired up going into that second half and not really talking about adjustments? Right. Um, I thought there was just a, again, I'm not, like, I I don't like it when coaches, like, only kind of recognize their own team and don't, don't realize there's a, co a staff and a team on the other side who are trying to get you, and they're really good. So I don't, I don't ever want to be like, oh, it was just us, and, you know, they're really good at what they do. I felt like, yes, the energy, like, we weren't disruptive in their actions. I felt like we made game plan mistakes. I felt like we didn't get 50-50 balls. I, I felt like we, um, you know, we offensively we weren't doing the things that, um, you know, we worked on, we talked about. So whether that all comes down to a single word like um, energy, I, you know, it was something. It was, you know, we, we weren't able to create our own energy. Now, from a technical standpoint, like they use 30 seconds of the shot clock, right? So it takes a long time, you know, like they, that their offenses, 
you know, the princess, like it takes longer, so you're not gonna get as many possessions, but we were trying to create our pace a little bit. So yes, I think the best way to say it is I didn't, I didn't like our, our, our energy, I didn't like our juice in the first half. It was more of that than, and we made a couple adjustments and things like that, but it was more about our, our, our energy. D'Angelo? Uh, kind of piggyback on what you just said, um, when the team uses all 30 seconds on the shot clock, how much does that highlight your inefficiencies on offense, whether that's scoring the ball or turning the I mean, yeah, we didn't turn it over a ton, but it 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 takes the air out of the ball a little bit. Like, and more so, we didn't get clean stops. So even if there's less possessions in a game, if we can get stops and run in transition, we're better. But I mean, they shot. I'm looking at the the box score now. They shot 47 percent in the first quarter and 62 percent in the second quarter, and without having a Wharton degree, that's pretty effing bad, right, defensively. So if you're not getting stops, then they get to set up their defense and we can't create the pace that we want. That being said, so what? We still need to be able to execute and score more than 23 points. Uh, okay, look and all of this, by the way, is on me. Like, sorry, it's not, like, I, like we, got, we have to do better and so that's on me to get us to do better and that's what I tried to do at halftime, sorry. Kayla, just your thoughts on, on uh, you know, what, what Coach has said and, and why you guys didn't seem to, to maybe have, uh, uh, you know, that intensity, that energy, all that stuff today. Yeah, no, I think Coach is spot on. I mean, I don't think we could have had better preparation coming into this game. It wasn't a lack of information or things we needed to know. It was simply the way we came out. I think Coach Lindsay is a good word. Like, it felt like in the first half we were a bit stubborn. Like, we recognized what we needed to change but weren't necessarily executing on that, and I think – at that point, we had a great second half, but we were just trying to climb out of a hole that you know, it was hard to get out of. People sometimes kind of point to, to games or, or, or wins or losses as kind of being a defining moment. How do you see this um, game, or what do you see the significance of this game for you guys? Yeah, I mean, in the locker room, we were talking about this is probably the first time we're facing, like, I mean, we've had tough losses before, but using this as an opportunity to look at adversity and, you know, turn around and punch back. I mean, we have a a tough upcoming road trip, so we're going to take this weekend and, and just try to move forward and, and not necessarily look at it as, you know, a challenge, but using it as a field to, to be better and just to play, or play better all together. Emma? Uh, so you had uh, six threes, including two in the final quarter, uh, you know, with time running out uh, to, you know, try to get back into the game. How big were each of those shots? Because uh, it seemed like you know, each of those shots were necessary uh, for you guys to kind of get the offense going and whatnot. Yeah, I mean, um, I think everyone, not just me, we were trying to, again, dig out of this hole that we had dug ourselves in in the first half. And as much as we were able to do and produce, it's just like none of that matters when we, can, we can't come out with the win. So as, as great as it, it is that we maybe outscored them in the second half, like it was just that first half that just really killed us, you know, regardless of anything we tried to do. Uh, Lindsay, uh, Michaela shot the ball terrific tonight. Uh, how much uh, <coughs> effort did you make to kind of encourage your, uh, your other two, your leaders, to start giving the ball to Michaela as she seemed to have, the ball, uh, have it going versus the other two who didn't really have it going tonight? Yep. Um, I mean, we definitely obviously ran some set plays to her. Um, but we also found her in transition a couple times. I mean, obviously it's on everyone to recognize the hot hand. And, you know, we just tell them again, we want to make the right play again and again and again, right? Like, um, you know, there were times at which, I mean, they play, they play four guards, sometimes five guards. There were times at which we're trying to say, okay, let's get it inside a little bit or let's attack the rim and get her on a spray. But we definitely, you know, made a more of an intentional um, attempt to get her some looks. Um, and some of it as well has to come out of flow. But everyone was aware. She was hot, and we were, we were trying to get it to her. That's the last one. Uh, just these last two weeks have shown the most adversity for you guys this season with three out of the last four. How is this something that you can take and learn from moving forward in this season and as we come back to the end of the stretch of conference play? Yeah, I mean, it, it'll, it'll test you every time, right? I think your mentality about how you handle it is incredibly important. Um, I think we'll, you know, we get ex everyone gets exposed in this conference defensively, you know, having to guard various things and offensively. And so, um, you know, we're not even halfway through conference. And so 
it's it's what is under your control is how you decide, you know, to respond and figure out, you know, are we capable of getting better? Are we capable of, um, you know, responding in a way that ultimately helps us? But, you know, it's 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 sick. It's sickening to have to sit with it, you know, for four or five days. It doesn't get any easier, you know, when you go up and play Stanford. So it's it's we have to decide are we going to get better because the road certainly doesn't get easier. And um, you know, you learn lessons and and. You know, to, again, it's my job to, to get us in the direction where it turns into something positive, but it's a, it's a, it's a painful and ugly process to do that sometimes because you're sitting with, you know, negative, you know, kind of bad feelings about, about a tough loss. I will say this crowd was great today. Uh, I, was, I was embarrassed in the first half about the effort we put out, um, but I do think, you know, they saw a better version of us in the second half, and, um, you know, hopefully we can take some of that positive energy from the second half on the road, but we got to be better.